In the ever-changing world of technology, it seems like more and more crossover happens between competing technologies. IP professionals are constantly calling our technical solutions department to find out about our products, or the RF world in general, because their customers want RF. Despite some rumors in the IP world, RF is not going away. To that end, we have created this primer to help IP professionals and others not familiar with RF begin to navigate our RF world. Through this primer we will discuss some of the most basic things in the RF world, like what is RF, what is the difference between an analog and digital channel, and is channel 200 a real physical channel. This is not meant to be a full accounting of the RF world, it is much more complex than a few minute primer could cover but it will give you a head start on the road to understanding RF and that it is here to stay, for a while at least. Further RF knowledge can be gained by attending one of our one-day or two-day training classes. What is an RF signal? An RF signal is an electromagnetic wave that communication systems use to transport information through air or cable from one point to another. They provide the means for carrying information for cordless phones, radar, ham radios, GPS, radio, and television broadcasts. In fact, RF signals are the most common means for carrying data over a wireless network. These are electromagnetic waves which propagate at the speed of 186,000 miles per second. What is the range of the broadcast television frequency band? All RF frequency ranges for television service are broken down into channel slots of 6 MHz. One 6 MHz channel slot can be an analog channel or a digital channel. The bands used for broadcast television are very high frequency VHF, used by radio and television stations 2 through 13, and ultra high frequency UHF, used by other television stations. Here we see television stations 2 through 6 cover the 54 to 88 megahertz range which is the VHF low band. Then FM radio covers the 88 to 108 megahertz range. Television stations 7 through 13 are 174 megahertz to 220 megahertz, the VHF high band. And finally television stations 14 through 51 encompass 470 megahertz through 698 megahertz the UHF frequency range. What is an analog RF channel? All analog television channels have three carriers, one for video information, one for audio information, and one for color information. Analog television channels are no longer broadcast over the air from television stations. Most cable television companies have also ceased transmission of analog television channels in favor of digital channels. A spectrum analyzer plot of an analog television channel is seen below. What is a digital television RF channel? A digital television channel utilizes the same channel spacing and frequency assignments as an analog channel. However, digital channels can contain multiple programs within the same 6 MHz bandwidth that fits one analog program and can also support high and standard definition programming. There are two different types of digital we use in a television network, 8VSB and QAM. 8VSB is the digital format for off-air channels and QAM is the digital format for CATV channels. An 8VSB channel can contain about 19 megabits per second of programming data, while a QAM carrier can contain 27 megabits or 38 megabits, depending on the QAM format. What are the different types of television broadcasts available? Broadcast over the air is an 8VSB format. Unencrypted satellite free to air is a QPSK format. Direct broadcast satellite DBS, your Dish Network and Direct TV is either QPSK or 8PSK format. Cable CATV community access television is analog or QAM format. 
And finally, IP, IP television, is an IP format. What is the difference between over the air and cable television? Over the air, or OTA, is the mode of television broadcast typically using radio waves through transmitting and receiving antennas or television antenna aerials. Full power television stations use an 8 VSB format, while low power stations can use analog format still and is typically a free service of the major television networks. CATV or cable television is a system of distributing television programs to subscribers via RF signals transmitted through coaxial cables or light pulses through fiber optic cables. Cable television networks use analog and QAM signals and is typically a closed subscription based system for a fee. What is the difference between over the air and satellite television? Over the air television, also known as terrestrial television, uses a network of transmission towers to relay the signal. Again, the full power television station covers each major market. It is a free service of the major networks such as NBC, CBS, ABC, Fox, etc. And the subscriber uses only an aerial antenna on the roof or behind the television to pick up these signals. Satellite service. The signal travels from the broadcast location to the satellites, then from the satellites to the customer. The customer receives the signal with a satellite dish. A single satellite can cover a very large area, such as PAS-10 satellite covers the entire African continent. It is a subscription-based system for a fee, typically. Does a CATV system follow off-air channel frequencies? When CATV systems were developed, they started out by following the same frequency assignments as the off-air channels. But being a closed system, the CATV companies took advantage of the unused lower frequencies. The order of channels by frequency is 2 through 6, 95 through 99, which falls on the FM band, 14 through 22 is the VHF midband, 7 through 13, 23 through 94, and 100 through 135. Cable channels 2 through 13 are the same frequency as their off air counterparts. Cable channel 14 resides at 120 through 126 megahertz, while off air channel 14 is 470 through 476 megahertz, a much higher frequency. Is there really a channel 200 on a digital cable system? No. Physically, most cable operators do not use more than 135 RF channels on their system, up to 860 megahertz. Using cable set-top boxes and virtual channels, they can display program numbers up to channel 999 or higher. Virtual channels are assigned to the multiple programs within each digital channel. What is a set-top box, STB? A set-top box is a device that generally contains a tuner and connects to a television set and an external source of signal turning the source signal into content in a form that can then be displayed on the television screen. Set-top boxes can also enhance source signal quality. They are used in cable television and satellite television systems. The provider has subscription control of the set-top box. Other features can be displayed from the content provider such as the channel guide, on-demand programming, recording programs with a DVR set-top box.